Trying to make the dice. I'm going to start with a new 2D sketch. I'm going to sketch on the front plane. It says front. I'm going to make a rectangle. Remember when the box is blue, we can type in it. So the width of our rectangle is 0 0.625. To get to the next box, you're just going to hit tab. And the height of it is 0 0.625. When you're finished, hit enter. Finish your sketch then. And now we need to extrude it so we add depth. So add since the height and the width are 0.625, our depth is going to be 0.625 because that would make a cube. Hit OK or the green check, and there's our cube. To start sketching on the, the top, which is where 4 goes, get your pencil, click the top, and now these are all going to be circles because that's what your drawing says. The circles are not, they're not points, so they're not going to be holes. They're going to be circles. Again, the box is blue, so you just type in. The diameter is 0.145, hit enter, make your next circle, 0.145, enter, next circle, 0.145, and then the last circle, 0.145. Um, now we need to get our dimension tool, it says we have eight dimensions needed. We need a dimension from the center. Alright, now we need a dimension, the from the center of the circle to the top, and it's 0.1175. From the center of the circle to the left edge, 0.1175. And you're going to continue that all the way around. So it's to the nearest two, two sides. Notice that they change colors when you're finished. And notice that in the bottom, my dimensions needed are going down. And numbers always go between arrows and outside objects. And it will round for you. That's okay. All right. It says I'm fully constrained. They're all blue, so I can finish my sketch. And now I need to extrude. But we want to make sure that we choose the cut feature, which is the second one down. It says cut. The depth that we're going to cut them is 0 0.045. And now you have to make sure you click the s your circles. Don't click the cube, because that's what will get extruded. Then you just want your circles to be cut. When you're done, hit finish sketch. Now remember, opposite sides of a dice equal seven. So if four is on top, what number will be on the bottom of your dice? It's three. Three will go down on the bottom um, and just finish it all the way. 